Hey, what's up guys, Jay's Two Cents, and I'm not very good at motion graphics and stuff, so today I'm gonna use the Video Blocks library here to make kind of a cool intro and show you guys how easy it is to really take these templates and liven up your production value in uh, your content creation. So anyway, don't go anywhere guys, and we'll show you how to make some pretty cool stuff coming up now. So I think I'm gonna keep this little series going maybe once a month here where I show you guys some cool content tips and tricks and how to get more out of your videos without having to spend a whole lot of time or even a whole lot of money. So today's video is brought to you by Video Blocks. Now I've used Video Blocks ever since I started YouTube. Um, just now I'm starting to get to kind of show you guys some more in-depth stuff of how I use it because like I said, I'm not a content creator that makes motion graphics and stuff, nor do I even have the time to invest on how to learn how to do this stuff from scratch. So fortunately, the Unlimited Library and the Marketplace is somewhere that people like you and me can go, get some pre-keyed footage and some templates, and learn a lot about how to use After Effects and really spice up our videos. Not even just After Effects, but you can get all sorts of footage. You've got lots of background, motion backgrounds. You've seen those in my graphics card reviews. You've got some flyby footage, aerial nature. I mean, anything you can think of just to add some value to your content creation is available here. But I said in the last video that I want to show you guys how to do an intro, uh, you know, so, because intros are really what makes videos pop and gets people's attention and really kind of makes you legit when it comes to content creation. So I went over here to the After, Effect, After Effects tab because I'm going to use After Effects for this. Went over into the logo reveal. Intro, believe it or not, this would be more for like movies and things. But I went to the logo reveal and then I thought this one was kind of neat down here on the bottom left where I figure a lot of you watch videos on smartphones, so wouldn't it be neat to kind of have a smartphone type intro? So this was like the the base, you know, this is this was what this guy did here. Nothing too special or spectacular about it, but it's just a swiping screen. I thought, well, what if we swiped between different scenes of my videos? So anyway, we're, we went ahead and downloaded that one, and you guys did say in your straw poll, 47% of you wanted my next video to be how to make an intro using After Effects. So that's what we are doing. One thing I did to get ready for the project here was I moved in some various clips and things that I wanted to use that I thought would look neat on that little you know iPhone effect. So I've got here like a trade show, I've got a graphics card you know B-roll, and I've got me as a talking head to represent the reviews that I do. I've also got some transparent words on here like builds, gaming, reviews, my logo. And the motion background you guys have seen me use in my GPU videos and stuff. So I've been using that one for quite a while now. But anyway, let's go ahead and open up the project file. It's called Phone Track 2, and it's what's included with the uh, with the actual template folder structure, if you will. So the entire everything you need is pretty much in here, with the exception of sound, because sound is trademarked and copyrighted, and uh, you aren't going to be able to necessarily distribute music like that. So you have to find music that you can use on your own. Anyway, this was made in Macintosh, so it's being converted to a PC version. And here we go. So anyway, this is After Effects here, and I chose this project because it's super simple, but yet gives you a very cool effect. And you don't wanna to get too involved in After Effects right away or you'll get overwhelmed, you'll quit, and you won't be happy. Trust me, After Effects is something that can get very overwhelming very quickly. Now over here on the left-hand side in all the project files, you'll see a bunch of different folders. Now the only one we really care about is the Edit Comps folder, because this is where we're gonna make changes that will take effect here in the entire project. Now, as you can see here, there's clearly uh, no images or videos or anything inside the phone, and that's the whole point of what we're doing here today. So image one, two, three, and four, this is the order in which they appear when he goes swiping through the screens. So image one, if we just go ahead and click, double click on that, you'll see we have nothing here because nothing was rendered here yet in the final output because we haven't put it in there yet. So if we open up image one, then we go to our footage folder where we moved in the files and stuff that we want to use. Let's go ahead and move in, say, uh, all of these files. You can just drag all of these because you know you're going to use them. Drag them over here to the project files, and then we can just drop them in there. Now what we're going to do is I want to have that Kingpin graphics card uh, B-roll to be my first clip. So let's find it here. Uh, there it is right here. You can see it up here in the little preview window on the left. Just drag it down here, and then I can you know, scale it how I want. Because 
this video or this intro thing template was made with like a 4 or a 4S. It doesn't have a widescreen on there. That's why it's got this more 4x3 format. So we can just move that around wherever we want it just so long as we make sure that we don't move it in such a way that we get these black bars because that will look very unnatural. So we'll just do that. And then I want to go a step further by adding on top of here, uh, you know, some words to represent, you know, what we are trying to showcase here with our channel. So I'll put builds up here on top and then we'll put it down here in the corner or something and we'll say that, you know, hey, Jay's Two Cents does builds, but you guys never saw that coming, did you? So that's it. We drag that in there. It's in composition one. Now the final HD is going to pull in those files automatically. And as you can see, there it is. So he brings up the screen and it's already in there. He swipes to the next scene and it's black because we haven't put anything in there yet. So we'll go image two over here on the left in the edit comps, double click on it. It brings up the composition. Now we can do the next uh, file we want to use. So let's do like my trade show video. How's that? This one right here. We'll drag that down there. There's me as a talking head at a trade show. This was at E3 this year. It was a little disappointing. Cool game titles and stuff, but just the way the convention is laid out. I wasn't too happy with it. Anyway, we'll go ahead and call that one uh, gaming. Makes sense because it is a gaming convention. Even though it says the Electronic Entertainment Expo, it was like all games. Should have been called the Electronic Gaming Expo. And we'll put that there. Now if we go over here to Final HD again down here in our composition navigator, there it is. See it automatically brought it in. And now the next thing we'll do is we'll go to composition three and we'll put in there me as the talking head, my 950 review. There it is, we'll scale it down just a little bit. We'll move, uh, and we'll go like that. We'll move that over that way my little bobblehead kind of shows. And then we will put in there the word reviews. Obviously, I'm doing a review right there. Scale that up a little bit. Drag that down into the corner. Me a little bit bigger. Just like that. And then guess what? Just like you saw before. Uh, where is it? Do you hear something? There it is. And then the last one is it, he leaves it up on the screen longer because that's intended to be like a logo reveal. So what we'll do here is we will go ahead and open up image four, which is composition four. We will drag down in there my moving background. And then we will also pull down in there my logo, which is in here somewhere. It says logo, imagine that. Only Jay could lose something called logo. It's clearly labeled. And we'll do that. And we'll go back over here and there, there it is. Now the cool thing about these templates is this seems incredibly easy, right? Like, oh, that wasn't a lot of work, Jay. What's the whole point of this video? Well, the point of this video is to show you that by using, you know, services like video blocks, and I know I've been throwing that out there quite a bit, but it's something that I've truly been using ever since I started YouTube because I'm not good at this stuff. I'm not a graphics designer. I'm not a motion graphics artist. I don't know how to do this stuff. I don't have the time to invest on how to how to pre-key the phone, how to do motion tracking so that everything moves moves flawlessly with the phone. It's just not I don't have the time for that. So I use services like this to be able to customize it to make it my own, but let someone else do all the legwork on how to do all this movement pre-keying and stuff. But anyway, the next thing to do is go up to composition here, add to Adobe uh, Media Encoder. I use the Media Encoder, not the built-in After Effects renderer because the Media Encoder is much more powerful. And then we can select our settings and stuff there and let it output. Uh, I'm, I'm going to HD 1080p at 29.97 FPS. You can tell it where to save. And then once it's done, you will have a uh, project that is all done and looks something like this. So there you go guys, just a quick video on how you guys can spice up your content creation and make things look a whole lot better without having to invest a lot of time and only a little bit of money 
and really gives you some production value to your content. So make sure you guys go down to the description, uh, check out video blocks there. There's a link you guys can go. Anything in their unlimited library can be used and downloaded all you want. There's even a free trial down there so you guys can go and try it out and download some stuff and see how you like it. And the cool thing about video blocks is even if you guys are content creators already and you know all this stuff and maybe you're even a professional graphics artist, you can put your own stuff up into the marketplace and video blocks gives you 100% of the proceeds. They don't even take a cut of what you guys put up there. They give you a, a nice store basically to put your stuff up there, showcase it, and make a little bit of money for your effort. And I think that that's really an important thing as baby Jay's yelling in the background there. I think she wants to get in the video. Anyway, it's really important to be able to uh, strengthen the community and give you guys you know, all the proceeds for your efforts. And that's exactly what Video Blocks is doing. So make sure you go into the description, check it out, sign up for a free trial if you're a content creator and you wanna spice up your content. And as always guys, thanks for watching. These videos are fun to make. I couldn't do these videos without your guys' support or the support of people like Video Blocks because they've helped me get my content looking a lot better ever since the start. Anyway, time to get out of here, guys. Hope you guys have a safe Halloween because tomorrow is Halloween. If you're watching this in the future, well then, Halloween's over. Unless we're almost to next Halloween, and then, you know, next Halloween is, is almost here, then at that point, and have a safe next Halloween. All right, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. As always, thanks for watching.